What's up, fellow gearheads? Welcome back to the HQ. Today is a very, very, very good day because we've got a brand new, not not a brand new vehicle, but we got a new to me vehicle that I'm introducing to the channel. I just bought it today. I'm so happy. But uh, you've probably already seen what it is from the, uh, the thumbnail and the title. So I'm not even going to act like it's a surprise, but everyone say hello to my new Jeep Cherokee XJ. So, uh... Yeah, let's, let's pull it out a little bit so we can look at it real quick here. You guys get a little a little start up here. You know what, there's no exhaust. There's no uh, good sounding exhaust, so you guys don't need to be outside. Why? I just now noticed this. This is funny. All the gauges are like up a little bit. They're not like at zero. So, oops, <laughs> not sure why that is, but anyway, here's the keys, nothing crazy. It's real loud. Yeah, take a look at the odometer real quick. 221,000 miles, jeez, bruh. But you know, we got the automatic transmission and all that, four wheel drive, of course, but uh, just throw it in the drive real quick. Pull it up here so we can get a good look at it. Quirks. Anyway, let's get up. Take a little walk around of the Jeep. So, things you need to know. 1996 Jeep Cherokee XJ Country, as you can see right here. Country. So I'm not really sure exactly what all that means, but there's a few obvious things that stand out. Uh, the wheels, for one thing, are a little different. I think they came factory with bigger tires. Not sure, these obviously aren't factory, but uh, in case you're wondering, these are Firestone Destination LE2. Uh, yeah. They're 235-75-15s, so definitely a, a decently meaty tire, I guess. 235 is pretty good, and uh, they actually have some treads, so that's good. Um, another thing, uh, they've got this plastic down here at the bottom, so I guess that's part of the country package, but uh, yeah, overall, I mean, not bad. As you know, four-wheel drive, we got gas cap, whatever, that's not important. <clears throat> Come around to the back. Here it is. I love these Jeeps so much. I decided I wanted one and I just, I love them. But uh, we got a hitch back here. This is actually not factory. This was added by the previous owner. We got the four liter high output. I'll show you guys the engine in a minute. But uh, back here. It, uh, yeah, it needs new struts. They don't work, but uh, there's the back, the spare is not in there, but uh, I have the spare. But yeah, that's the back. And uh, here's the interior. So this is actually like, it's got leather and everything. Like, it's actually pretty nice. The back seat, it's a little dirty and all, but it's actually pretty nice, not gonna lie. You know, the leather, everything's pretty good. The carpet, again, it's just dirty, it only has one mat. I'm not sure what any of this stuff is. I actually just found that, but either way, uh, get in real quick. Sit back seat of my XJ. I mean the leg room, not bad. Way better than the slug though. That's like this is one of the things I'm really looking forward to about this over the slug. It's for friends and stuff. You know, we got lots of room. Obviously, you can get three back here, two in the front, so five all together, which is not enough for my group of friends, but, you know, we'll we'll make it. We might, I don't know, maybe you can squeeze four in back here, but whatever. Obviously, the hatch, there's room for people in there, and I found a notebook in it, so free notebook. But, yeah, this is the, uh, the back seat of the XJ. We got power windows, actually. I'm super, super, super stoked about that. Uh, as you guys know, the slug has crank windows and I'm not super stoked about that but uh, yeah it's got like 
fake wood, I guess, here on the door panels. And up in the front here, we've got, again, fake wood panels. We got uh, windows, locks, we got, again, leather seat. Uh, I'm actually super stoked about this as well. Uh, this, it doesn't have any right now, but it can actually have key fobs programmed. So I'm definitely gonna get some of those. This is like, it's really very luxurious actually from from what I'm used to. The only thing I don't like really is there's no glove box. Like there's just this thing that's not very big. This little cubby and then like the center console that doesn't actually latch. But uh, I'll do a, a more in-depth video, you know, five things I like, five things I don't like about it later. But it's very, very old school in here, you know, but Still gets everything done you know we got the really old school radio not even a cd player kind of upset about that i really want a cd player but uh got our really oh boy did i just break it okay i'm just gonna leave that alone but you know we got our vents that's not working it's staying down but uh yeah i think the more i mess with this thing the more things i find that are wrong with it but you know that's okay i got it really really cheap so I'm expecting it to have a lot of problems, but real quick, when I go over, actually, it didn't even look up here. Oh, dude, dude, there's two mirrors. Hi, everyone. And there's, oh, this one doesn't work. Crap. But there's a dimmer switch. Oh, jeez, breaking stuff. There's a dimmer switch. Yo, that is sick. Not that I need that. I don't do my makeup while driving. We're gonna talk real quick about some of the things on this Jeep that I think are super awesome. So one of those things, we have cruise control now. Uh, the slug, no cruise control. We have power windows now. Oh, that's the lock. We have power windows that are not working because the key's not in, but we have power windows. We have power locks too. Super great. I'm literally stoked about that. We can get key fobs for this thing. This is part of the key fob system. We can get key fobs. I'm really, really excited about that. I love key fobs. Obviously, this look does not have key fobs. So, uh, yeah, it's just like, it's got all the luxuries. You know, we got four doors. That's nice. We got back seat, like way more passenger room. I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna say that the Cherokee is really roomy, but it's a little more room for passengers and cargo than the truck. You know, the truck has the bed, obviously that's, handy in some situations but this thing is obviously a bit more handy for like ooh, I didn't even notice that this is way more handy for like <clears throat> like passengers and stuff that you want to keep dry and stuff like that and of course the main reason it's four-wheel drive baby yeet uh, that's obviously one of the big reasons I bought this thing but uh, yeah this video is really like random I feel like I'm just like jabbering on and on and on. Like, I literally, I picked this thing up like today. Like I just brought it home at like noon. It's like three o'clock now. So like I've only had this thing for a few hours and like I'm still just like finding stuff out about it and stuff like, I don't even know like what to make a video about. Like there's gonna be more videos with the Jeep for sure, but I just don't even know what to talk about right now. Like. I'm still getting like to know this thing honestly like I just don't even know I don't even know where to begin the cup holders come off by the way but yeah I'm just like rambling I don't even know what there's a uh, coin I just found it it says Republica de Chile de Chile is it Chile I think it's Chile Republica de Chile Pueblos Originarios. Some kind of Spanish coin. Uh, anyway, so we're going to talk real quick why I bought the Jeep and some other things. So this is kind of like the housekeeping portion of the video. The slug. I know it has been so long since I've put a video out. It's been a very long time since I've put a video out with the slug in it. The slug has been kind of like on the back burner as far as the channel is concerned. Obviously I had the mini bikes that I bought. That was my project 
to keep me from buying another car. <laughs> I told myself, you know, just buy mini bikes. That'll satisfy you and you won't need another car. Well, here I am in my second car. Uh, yeah, the mini bikes didn't work out. I, have, I haven't even got any of them, either of them even running or anything. So not sure what's happening with the mini bikes at this point. They might be going away. They might be staying. I'm not 100% sure. College has been super busy for me, so I haven't had time to make videos. But the slug, I'm telling you guys, I have done some stuff to the slug. I've done some mods. Since the last video you guys even saw with the slug in it, I have made some huge changes. Videos will be coming about those changes very soon. Honestly, I've done some major things to the slug, and I'm trying to surprise a friend. Alan, if you're watching this video, my boy. <laughs> I did some things to the slug, but anyway, I don't want to spoil what I did to the slug, so I can't upload the video of what I did to the slug until after I show my friend in person what I did to the slug. It it's it's a long, a long story. I can't upload the video until my friend has seen what I did to the slug in person. So a video on the mods to the slug will be coming soon, I promise. But either way, why did I go out and buy a Jeep Cherokee? The answer is, it's winter. It is December now. You know, it's almost Christmas. Good grief. But uh, anyway, it's going to be winter soon. That means we'll probably be getting snow at some point. And the slug is just not, <clears throat> it's not ready to handle that. Uh, it's two-wheel drive, manual. You know, it's just kind of a, a bad recipe for snow. I've never had it out in snow, honestly. Like, I've never even tried. Having it out in rain is sketchy. Like, it just, it's just bad. It's, it's no good in any kind of weather. It just breaks traction. You know, it's a truck, you know. It's light on the rear end, so, yeah, no traction. But I decided I was going to buy something four-wheel drive that I can drive during the winter months in case it snows and, you know, I'm going somewhere like work or something or I'm at work or at school and it snows and I need to come home, I've got something that'll hopefully get through a little better. Plus, you know, I just, I wanna flex, I wanna be, I wanna have two cars in my name, you know, I wanna, wanna have a project. So, for all the collective reasons, I now have a Jeep. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I got some things I wanna do with this Jeep. Got some adventures I wanna take with this Jeep. I got some fun things I wanna do with this Jeep. Trust me guys, I have some ideas for this Jeep. The content is about to like really pick up again. I know it's been, it's been a while since I've put out a good video. I mean, in, in, uh, for like, as far as new stuff is concerned, uh, one of my videos, actually two of my videos hit a thousand views recently. So that's, that's super cool. I wanna respond to that real quick. Thank you guys, you know. I'm nowhere near big yet, but like that that's just kind of cool for me. Like a thousand people. Okay, maybe not a thousand people. Some people might have watched it more than once, but you know, there are a thousand times that play was clicked on my video. That's like that's pretty crazy. That's two videos, you know, my my fuel economy video about the slug, which is like a really dumb video, and um my theory about the Dodge Journey Hellcat. Not really sure if that's even like legit, but I just made the video. A thousand people watched it we're cool but now the the channel is about to pick up we're about to get a lot more content especially in this thing we're going to do some crazy videos in this thing i'm just saying it right now i have some plans for this jeep we are going to send it and we're going to send it good and we're going to have fun and i cannot wait i'm a jeep owner this is awesome so having four doors is like way more convenient now so like you know i got friends they have leg room now, like in the slug, we've put six people in that truck before, like it's not comfortable for anybody, even the driver, like I gotta scoot way up to like make room for them to get in the back, it's like not comfortable for everybody. Even though there's only five seats in here, we could all fit five of us way more comfortable, like, you know, we have leg room, we don't have to crawl over the seats to get out, you know, we got the four doors, everything is super nice. Another convenient thing is having the back hatch, like that's actually a lot of cargo room back there. Like, that's legit. Like, that's dope. So, like, if I need, like, to take something, like, let's just say a couple years from now, I'm buying groceries or something. You know, I don't buy my own groceries right now, but, you know, I will be soon. I have a grocery getter now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just pull up in the XJ, you know what I'm saying, and put all the groceries in the back. You know, this could be my family car. Like, who knows how long I'm going to have this thing. Like, I mean, I'm single now, but I don't expect to be single forever. I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. But either way, 
when I do have a family, if I do have a family, this can be my family car. You know, I'm not putting car seats in the slug. Are you kidding me? Like, that's the dumb. But, like, I got room for me. I got room for wifey. I got room for, like, three kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, and groceries. We got all the room for family stuff. And, you know, backseat activities. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, I might edit that out. I probably won't, though. But, uh, yeah, I'm just super excited to have have this thing. I feel like I'm just going on and on and on. And I'm sorry to myself editing this video later. Like, you have so much chopping to do right now with me just, like, talking about random, like, unassociated stuff. I'm sorry. <coughs> anyway, um, plans for the Jeep now. I know I talked about, you know, one day it's going to be family car. It's kind of going to be a better car for me and my friends. What am I doing with it now? And I talked about how I'm going to need it when it snows to, you know, get around because the slug just rear wheel drive doesn't do anything in the snow. It'll get stuck for sure. So this is going to be kind of my, my winter car. I'm going to drive it all winter just in case, you know, if it snows or anything, I'm better equipped to get out of the snow. You know what I'm saying? The guy I bought it from said the four wheel drive on this thing works great. He's got him out of a few situations. So I'm hoping it'll, it'll come in clutch for me too. Uh, I hope I need to use it sometime. I feel kind of stupid if I bought this thing and like never needed it, but we're going to ignore that. <coughs> as far as the channel is concerned, we're going to do some things in this Jeep. I'm expecting to get out and have some fun in this Jeep in the snow. Now, let it be known. I love summertime. Like summertime is great. That's like car meet season. That's car show season. That's like the weather's way better, but winter has its perks too. I like snow and I like having fun and snow is fun. And we have a fun snow car now. Like we have four wheel drive. We're going to have some fun in this. I have some plans. I'm hoping we'll be able to do that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can build this thing a little bit. Like I'm not going too big with this. Like I still need this to be my daily. Like the slug was, you know, it was my daily. Well, it's not officially not my daily anymore. I mean, this will be my winter daily. I'm not sure plans with the slug. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I need this thing to be dailyable. So I'm thinking like little modifications here and there, like maybe a small lift kit, you know, maybe better tires, but not too big and knobby, you know, <clears throat> maybe a roof rack, maybe some off-road lights, stuff like that. But we're not going like huge, like six inch lift 35s now like we're not doing that this is a daily like i still need to drive this you know what i'm saying so we're gonna do a few mods and uh hopefully it's still daily drivable but i hope we can get into some some adventures with this thing like even though it's not going to be like really built i hope that maybe we can take it on a trail sometime you know we can have some fun but i'm really really hoping to have some fun in this thing in the snow and make some like good quality content with it because i think it's going to be super fun so <coughs> talking so much man jeez i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up now we'll talk more in the next few videos about you know things i like things i hate stuff like that this is just kind of like an introduction video like i said i've only owned this jeep for a few hours now so like i'm still new to it but i'm gonna take some time and really come up with some things to put in a next video for like i don't know just better content because this is just kind of weird but you know we got plans for the jeep I said real quick that I wanted to talk about the slug. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's happening to the slug now. I'm keeping it. I'm not selling the slug. Like I love that truck. I'm keeping it. But I'm not sure what's going to happen to it. I kind of have a feeling that I'm really going to start liking this thing. And I might just want to keep driving it all year round. I know I've been talking about having a project on the channel. You know, buying another car and making it a project. But this is a daily. I can't make this into a project. <clears throat> I know I've talked about modding the truck before, but I was like, I can't because it's my daily. But theoretically, if the slug is no longer needed as my daily, it could be a project. So I have some ideas. I know I'm making a video of me buying my second car at 19 but like i'm kind of cheap with my money like i don't spend a lot of money on a tight wad so i don't know if we're really going to be building the slug or not but uh if i can come off some money we're gonna build the slug like for real for real there's a mail truck coming up the uh, driveway right now so i'll be right back i don't even know what i was talking about i think i was talking about the slug but you know the deal is 
I want to build it into something nice. I don't want to get rid of it. Like I love that truck. It was my first ever vehicle. I really want to keep it, but now I have kind of a, a new daily. So <clears throat> if I can manage to come off a little bit of money, I might throw some money in the slug and like make it nice. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It might be a project. I'm not saying it's for sure. But the slug might be a project car after this. I'm, I'm not sure. It's probably just going to remain my summer daily and this will be my winter daily. But if this becomes my all-time daily, we're probably going to throw a V8 in the slug. But you didn't hear that here. Anyway, guys, I've been talking for a long time. This video is already, I know it's going to be super long. But uh, real quick, I'm going to show you guys the engine. I'm going to start it up and all that. So, like I mentioned before, it's a four liter. Anyway, it is a four liter inline six gasoline engine. <coughs> it's pretty big for a six cylinder. It, four liters is a lot, and this is the high output engine. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Got big old long engine up in this thing. Let's get a little rev here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a four liter inline six, talking 190 horsepower and like 225-ish pound-feet of torque. So it's got plenty of power, it's got plenty of torque. More than the slug, that's for sure, but you know. There it is. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. You know, we're gonna do more with the Jeep in later videos. You know, I'm gonna talk more about it and, and stuff, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try to clean it today, like clean the outside anyway, and just get it like fresh. But uh, that's gonna end it for, for now. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like, and I will uh, see you in the next one.